Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and product profile. And before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Clam on the Half Shell Day. Clam on the Half Shells are awesome. A little bit of butter on them. I could eat like a couple of pounds of those things in one sitting. They're not for everybody, but they are for me. I like seafood, and if you haven't tried them, I suggest you do so. All right, enough with the holiday of the day. Let's move on to the product of the shave. Murphy and McNeil's, Murphy and McNeil's Mandate of Heaven. Shave soap, 5.5 ounce plastic shave tub with a screw top lid and waterproof label. Uh, the name of this soap is an interesting one. So is the scent. The name of this soap is an interesting one. It comes from a Chinese term. Um, I believe it's pronounced Tianming. I could be butchering that. I don't speak Chinese, so I apologize if I do. But it comes from that term. It's referring to the divine requirement of their uh, leaders to serve the good of the people. And it also refers to the, uh, the public's uh, responsibility to overthrow the leader if they don't serve the people well. At least that's the way I understand it. The scent on this is fantastic. He is the soap right there, as you can see. It's their typical uh, light-colored, whitish, kind of uh, almost mashed potato colorish right there. Uh, anyway, this soap is available for $19.99 uh, from murphyandmcneil.com, or you can get a uh, 5.5-ounce yeah, sample. 0.5, not 5.5. 0.5 ounce sample of pouch for about $3.99. Uh, the aftershaves, they range from... $24.99 to $27.99, depending on whether you can choose menthol or not and how much of that menthol that you choose to put in the aftershave. Uh, the balm is also available from $15.99 to $17.99, mentholated or non. And there's an EDP available from that ranges from $19.99 to $39.99, depending on how much of that you want. Uh, one more thing, it is tallow-based for those of you that it matters to. Now, Having said all that, let's move on to the rest of the gear of the shave. We're going with the Gillette New. There it is. It's been refurbished by Razor Refresh. We're going to be using that today. And we're going to be loading that up with a feather blade. Get that on standby here. Uh, as far as the brush is concerned, we're going with my FU from Superman. Superman FU brush uh, by EB Lathe Works. Mother load synthetic knot. And as I might have mentioned, I do have the aftershave of Mandate of Heaven right here. To go with that and of course we have our cucumber scented witch hazel by thayer's in our jd spray bottle and we all by the way we are going to be bowl lathering for those some people have have made a comment to me that they don't uh, i don't always mention that but i am mentioning that today we are bowl lathering for those of you that wish to know so that is all the information that we have thus far and i think what we'll do is we'll kind of take a break from this uh, we'll get the soap loaded in the bowl, get it lathered up, ready for the shave, and we'll load up our blade, and we're going to get this happening. So we'll see you folks in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. There it is, all lathered up and loaded. For those of you that really want to know, it, uh, it took me about five minutes to lather that. I was really messing with it quite a bit. Got a couple of days, uh, about three days worth of growth on the head here. Let's go into a head lather. So Murphy McNeil offers a 3% charity uh, donation for your purchases. Uh, their, um, the cost the, uh, cost goes to one of the five charities that they have listed on their drop-down menu, which uh, when you make a purchase, I don't believe that you have to do that, but it is something that they do offer. And I don't know the charities off the top of my head, but if you go to their website, uh, which I'll put a link in the description below to it, you can check it out. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the scent on it is about a 3 or 4 out of the scent scale. It's pretty light for my liking. I, I generally like a pretty heavy scent. Um, that's kind of my take on it. Uh, I'm sure it's different for everybody. That's what I would describe as a clean scent with a few supporting side notes or background notes. Uh, nothing overly impressive, but nice. And I'll put the full scent profile description in the description box below. All right, let's start with the uh, with the grain shave pass here. Here we go. 
Uh, as far as the pros are concerned with this shave soap, uh, it is the Aeon base, which those of you that want to know, uh, Aeon is Gaelic for oneness. I really don't know what that has to do with the soap, but it is what it is. Uh, it's the base is firm. It's easily scooped for bull lathering, so there's no issues there. You know, despite the firmness, uh, lathers well and easy. It's slick with a decent amount of residual slickness, at least as far as I'm concerned. My uh, razor glides right over it without any problem at all. And if it's properly hydrated, I've noticed that the lather is quite dense. Works well for me. I've also recently added more than one mirror uh, for head shaving. I found that this actually works quite well. So I've got the camera and two other mirrors to help me see the sides. It just aids a little bit. I also like uh, that there's a lot of options that are available with regards to the menthol, as you don't always see that on um, websites. They either offer with menthol or without. And I like how you can choose the strength of it. I mean, otherwise you're left with managing it yourself, which you can do with... Uh, some menthol drops that you can buy from sites. I believe Sterling offers menthol drops. Or you can uh, buy menthol crystals online. They come in a bag like this. And you can bash them up yourself and and put them in different... Uh, whether you want to put them in aftershaves. Uh, there's also the chill mill option, which I do have here. Uh, by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You can... It's basically a, a, like a season grinder either salt or pepper grinder and you can uh you just take the chill the chill mill comes with menthol crystals in it you just grind them over your soap uh and if you can funnel it into an aftershave you can use it for that too i suppose One of the things i really like about there uh them that you don't see uh, that that i really am impressed with actually you do see is just a, something that's big to me is uh the website the website is easy to use and it is relatively bug free that's kind of important. And let's face it, uh, nobody uses catalogs anymore, so it's pretty much website or bust. And that can be a problem if you're going to click on different links that don't work. And you're going to choose products that are listed as um, on, the, on the site, but you can't find the pricing or the pricing is inaccurate. I don't like stuff like that. I like the site to be working without any problems. So, and their site is relatively easy to use. Uh, it's bug free and it's actually updated quite a bit, which is a big deal for me. So, some of the things I don't really care for the slow, the slightly high priced on all their items in the line, although it's still in a reasonable range for what you're getting, it is still on the high end of range of that range. Uh, the, the scent, as I said before. Is a little light for my taking. Uh, I, it's also clean, but it's lacking something. So it's coming off as somewhat dull for me. So I mean, as much as I, I do like the scent and I do like like how it performs in scent wise, it just like I said, it's just lacking something that something to just crisp it up a little bit. So I mean, it's very very clean. Or it comes off very clean, and then it, it just kind of fades from there. So it's missing something. There we go. All right, excellent, excellent second pass. Okay, uh, incidentally, I don't think I mentioned the scent profile on this. I will put that in the description below, but uh, the top notes are mandarin, basil, and ginger. Uh, heart notes, nutmeg, lotus, and incense. 
And then the base notes are Violet Musk and Ambergris, or Ambergris. I can never pronounce that one, but there it is. So uh, that's the uh, first two passes. A couple of pieces of information for you on this soap. As you can see, it's plenty of residual slickness. Not a problem. I could almost do another pass with just that. I won't, but I almost could. So that's that right there. We're going to take a minute, take a break. We'll finish up this shave, and we'll see you guys in the post-shave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, as you can see. Dop status, Doma Perfection, no nicks, cuts, areas of irritation, smooth as glass. Let's go ahead and throw on a little bit of the Thayer's Witch Hazel. So as I said before, I do feel that this scent is very light and it is lacking something. However, you can't really, the performance is just fantastic. It's really, really good. Really decent uh, base. The Aeon base, I have no complaints about it whatsoever at all. Uh, as far as the, the, the scent is, you know, itself not necessarily the strength but itself uh i would add something i don't know i'm not i'm not a soap maker but some type of uh i know it's got a little bit of citrus in it but something a little bit more to uh you know make that last a little bit drag out that citrus that would be my my thing i think the scent is very short-lived it comes and it goes and i'd like to see it last a little bit longer but that's just my opinion all right aftershave aftershave i found matches the soap pretty well it does last long uh, as far as aftershaves are concerned it's not a cologne but it lasts a fair amount of time i get a couple of hours out of it uh, actually well more than a couple i get most of the day out of it actually all on the face <sighs> yeah that smells good So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. A couple of passes, talked about the soap, talked about uh, pricing and so on and so forth. If you have any further questions, please put it in the comments section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed but wish to do so, make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you guys and girls in the next video.